Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on eaters. In this lecture, we will apply loads on our structure. Before that, let's first discuss the various types of loads that can act on our structure. So the types of load can be divided into four types. So first one is the dead loads, then we have live loads, earthquake loads and the wind loads. Now coming to the dead loads, in dead loads we can have self weight over structure, we can have wall loads, we will have staircase loads, lift loads and water tank loads. So we will discuss one by one each type of load. First of all coming to the self weight of the structure, in ETABS we do not have to manually apply the self weight of, of the structure, the ETABS will calculate the self weight and it will apply that self weight automatically. For example, if you have model slab, then it has will calculate the self weight of that slab and it will assign it to that structure. However, in the ca in the case of STAD Pro, we need to manually add the self weight and assign it to the whole structure. However, in ETAS it is not required. The next load is the wall loads. In ETABS we are not modeling walls because since our structure is framed structure it is not a load bearing structure so we do not model walls in the case of framed structure so since we are not modeling the walls we need to apply the dead load of that wall underneath the beams so we will calculate the UDL of that wall so first of all to calculate the wall loads, we will use the formula as height of the wall minus overall depth of the beam multiplied by thickness of the wall and multiplying it by 20 which is the unit weight of the masonry wall. Since in our case the thickness of the exterior wall is 9 inches which is approximately 0 0.230 meters and the thickness of the interior wall is 6 inches which is approximately 0.115 meters. Height of the wall in our case is 11 feet which is approximately 3.35 meters. Size of the typical beams is 0 0.23 by 0 0.45 meters. So first of all UDL on the exterior beams which is equal to height of the wall which is 3.35 minus overall depth of the beam which is 0 0.450 multiplied by the thickness of the exterior wall which is 0 0.230 meters and multiplying it by 20 which is unit weight of the masonry wall. This comes out to be 13.34. Now the UDL on the interior beams. So the only change will be the thickness of the wall which is 0.115 meters. So the UDL on the interior beams comes out to be 6.67 km per meter. Now let's calculate the load of the parapet wall and we will apply that load on the terrace floor beams. So considering 1 meter height of the parapet wall, the UDL on the terrace beams will be 4.6 km per meter. Now let's apply these wall loads in ETABS. First of all we are going to apply the UDL on exterior beams which are supporting the exterior walls. So here you can see that one story option is selected. First of all select here similar story option. Now what is the difference between one story and similar stories? If you select here one story and if you select any beam then it will select the beam only on that story as you can see here. But if you select here instead of one story similar story option then if you click on this beam then it will select all the beams which are similar to that story. So it will select all the beams below that story or above that story which are having a similar configuration. So here we will select similar story option and we will select all the exterior beams. So first of all we will select the exterior beams of this first flat and 
we'll select the exterior beams of the second flat as well so as you can see in the 3d view also all the beams have been selected exterior beams have been selected but as you have calculated that for the terrace beams the UDL value is different so again we will switch to one story and we will deselect all the terrace beams okay so now you can see that all the exterior beams except the terrace beams have been selected now to assign the UDL for these beams go to assign option then go to frame loads and then select the distributed option since we are we want to apply the uniformly distributed load so load pattern will be dead load the direction of load application will be gravity and the value of load is 13.34 please no note that here you do not have to write here negative sign since the direction of load application is gravity it has will automatically consider this load in the downward direction so click on apply button and click on ok so here you can see that 13.34 kN per meter of load has been applied to these exterior beams now let's select all the interior beams as well so select all story option uh, sorry similar story option again then select all the interior beams okay please note here that at the terrace level we do not have any interior beams we will only have the outer parapet wall so you need to deselect these interior beams at the terrace level so again go to the one story option and deselect these interior beams at the terrace level ok so now all the interior beams have been selected except at the terrace level again go to assign go to frame loads and click on distributed and apply the load of 6.67 for the interior beams click on apply and click on ok now we will apply the load on the terrace beams so again go to make sure that your one story option is selected since we want to apply the load of the parapet wall only on the terrace beams so at the topmost level that is 27.7 meter select all the exterior beams like this
go to assign go to frame loads click on distributed and apply the load of parapet wall of 4.6 kilometer per meter click on apply and click on ok We will also apply this 4.6 km per meter load to these balcony beams since we also have we will also have a wall at the level of balcony. So go to 3D view, click on similar story option and select all the balcony beams like this. Again go to assign, go to frame loads, select distributed and apply the load of 4.6. Click on apply and click on OK. Now if you want to see all the loads in 3D view, then you can first select 3D view, go to display, click on load assigns and click on frame. So you want to display the dead load. So click on apply and click on OK. So now you can see here all the UDL that we have applied for the wall. So guys that's all for this video. You can like, share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future update. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.